Hey guys, what's up? Red Panda Mining here, back with another video for you guys. All right, guys. So, in this video, we're, I'm going to talk about different ways that you can be mining cryptocurrency. And there's going I'm going to be showing you pretty normal, conventional ways, and then some unconventional ways that I believe not most people are doing, or a lot of people are doing. I'm not sure, but let's get into it. So, a little bit of history first. Bitcoin. You guys know you guys know when Bitcoin came out back in 2008, 2009, Mr. good old Satoshi Nakamoto created first Bitcoin and then uh, we can mine Bitcoin back then with a CPU. I don't know my CPU generations, but I believe it was a Pentium 4 or Core Duos at the time when you could mine with them. Uh, those those uh, consumer consumer CPUs. And then come 2010, the mining code for Bitcoin came out for GPUs, graphic processing units. So during that time, people were mining with GPUs then because it was more profitable, I guess. I'm not sure how much profitable I didn't mine back then. And then 2011 came and the good old field programmable gate arrays came about, which is also known as FPGAs. And then after that, ASICs, ASICs came out application specific integrated circuit which are it's basically microchips designed for special applications and come to the present guys we've we've come up with a lot of different ways to be mining cryptocurrency the, the ecosystem has evolved into something that it can be monetized in a number of different ways cryptocurrency and and can be generated a number of different ways I mean so First thing I'm going to show you guys, obviously, is graphic cards. I'm going to get this one out of the way first, and I'll show you guys the more unconventional ways after this. So, graphic cards. You guys all know graphic cards. You can buy them on Amazon. You can check it out on e Craigslist or eBay. The, the, these, the Craigslist would be my go-to place to find used GPUs. But with GPUs, they are they are the most versatile. You can, you can mine a lot of different coins out right now. Um depending on which brand you go for. So NVIDIA cards, for example, are they have more versatility in mining different coins at the moment. So there's like Grin and different Equihash coins, Kaku 2931, uh, Ethereum if you want, but it's not as profitable. Uh, there's a lot of different algorithms that uh, NVIDIA cards can mine on. And then come with AMD cards right now, you can mine basically the most profitable one, I believe, is Ethereum right now. Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. So, yeah, take it, take that as you will. Graphic cards are probably the most popular to to get a hold with, get, to get to get a hold of, and mine cryptocurrency. All right, guys. Next up, we're gonna talk about the more unconventional ways to mine cryptocurrency or get cryptocurrency. So, Sweatcoin. Have you guys heard of Sweatcoin? Sweatcoin.club. Basically you can earn cryptocurrency by walking. Now, this is a very unconventional way, but I think it's pretty cool. But I, I've never tried it myself. So <laughs> you just download the app on your phone and you just start walking and you'll earn sweat coin. <laughs> Apparently 23 million people have installed it. So get outside and start walking, guys. You can earn sweat coin. <laughs> okay, next up. Android phone mining, mobile phone mining. So I, I didn't find much much present stuff recently, but I found one by the name of uh, a YouTuber named I Mine Blocks, and he's got a guide how to mine on your on your phone, Android phone specifically. So if you got an old phone, you guys should try it. <laughs> Don't blame me if it if it blows up, but I'll I'll, I'll have I Mine Blocks video link down below you guys should go sub to him and uh, yeah that's really cool mobile phone mining so that's another way you guys can get crypto cryptocurrency okay another way is brave you guys may have heard of brave it is a browser where you basically you can one of the main features is um, using the browser and doing blockchain blockchain transactions and you can reward your favorite content creator or someone so uh it basically brave right now uses bat 
uh, which is basic attention token, and it's a it's a top fifty it's a top fifty coin right now. So, uh, yeah, you can just you can you can get bat just by using the brave Bra- brave brave browser. So yeah, that's another way to get crypto. Next up, we got BitTube, also basically another website where you just use and you just watch uh, videos on BitTube and you can gain uh, cryptocurrency called BitTube. So that's another that's another cool that's another cool way, guys. Okay, next up is xbtfreelancer.com. You guys can do some freelancing freelancing and get paid in Bitcoin. Would that be cool? I I personally have never tried it myself, but this is another way. It's not it's not mining, but you're you're doing a task in order to get Bitcoin. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we got Coinbucks.io. I've never used this before, but again, it's another way you can earn crypto just by completing online pr- promotional offers and installing mobile apps and stuff. So interesting interesting way to to get bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies i'm sure uh next up is another one bitturo.com same thing install uh, apps do simple tasks on your phone um yeah just another way to earn crypto and i'm showing coin market cap basically because you can earn crypto by doing trading now i'm sure a lot of you that watch me have done a little bit of trading in your life, crypto trading. So again, that's another way you put fiat into an exchange or something and you can, you can trade and over time get lots of crypto if you're good at it. (laughs) But yeah, that's, that's just another way of getting cryptocurrency guys. Now that the unconventional ways are out of the way, let's go to the more, more popular or conventional ways of mining. So basically, uh, let's go with ASICs. So guys, you know ASICs, application-specific integrated circuits. They're microchips designed for special applications. So example, Bitmain, one of the companies that make the infamous Antminer. So as you can see, you can buy one of these Antminer S15s at 28 terahash for a thousand bucks right now. And what what will that get? What will that give you in crypto? Well, let's see. Right now, let's go S15, 28 terahash. You can make two dollars and eight cents a day at how much kilowatt per hour? Thirteen cents per kilowatt hour. I'm gonna change that to ten USD. Okay, now let's search up S15 Bitminer and uh, Miner S15. So you can make three dollars a day in profit after electricity costs with a bit main ant miner s15 so just showing you guys a a way that you can mine cryptocurrency i'm not condoning buying asics or anything i'm not going to go through that so just just a company guys you can check it out if you'd like uh i use this site here asicminervalue.com basically you can sh- you, it'll show you all the different ASIC miners out right now and their profitability. So as you can see right now, the Obelisk SC1 immersion is you're you're making $36 a day after electrical costs. So the uh, power usage is 1600 watts, which is pretty high. Uh, pretty much, I think, max on a 15 amp circuit. So take that as you will. ASIC miners, another way to mine. Okay, another cool ASIC miner actually I wanted to show you guys is the Apollo LTC pod. So this is just a little tiny ASIC uh, Litecoin miner for 300 bucks. I'm not sure how it how it performs, but I believe it's 100 to 135 mega hash. Yeah, 100 to 135 mega hash at around 100 to 200 watts. So that's that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, just another way to mine if you if you guys want to get into ASIC mining just a nice little nice little ASIC miner now if you guys want to go even smaller check out this future bit moonlander 2 USB miner uh, for mining Litecoin it's a little tiny guy you just plug into your computer and it's around 60 bucks USD right now and it's only hashing about 3 to 5 mega hash at only 10 watts of power <laughs> so if you want to get into mining crypto this is another way, 
very small barrier to entry into mining cryptocurrency, guys. As next up, we got FPGAs, also known as Field Programmable Gate Arrays. Basically, they are integrated circuits that can be programmed. Yeah, that's basically it. So <laughs> they look like an ASIC miner, and there's a lot of FPGAs out there right now that look like FPGAs. I guess this this is the most uh, common one right now, the uh, BCU 1525. And but the Black Miner F1 is also a popular one that I've seen, and people reviewed it, like the technicals. And you can get one right now for two thousand bucks. I'm not sure of the profitability profitability on it right now. Uh, as you can see, the revenue dollars right here, I'm not sure if these are, are up to par right now, but as you can see, it's apparently profitable to mine with this, with this guy. Now, I don't know if you're talking about ROI, getting your return on investment. It's a pretty uh, risky investment, but uh, you guys will have to do your own research if you want to get into it. Now... Squirrel Research, this is a company where they, they specialize in FPGAs. Now they have a lot of different products like the Acorns, BCU 1525s, all that whatnot. I have a little worry about them because they haven't released their Squirrel Miner and they are still talking about releasing it and they're still working on it apparently. So take that as you will, uh, do your own research, yeah. Uh, next up, Zetheron Technology. These guys are really cool. They have a lot of um, a lot of uh, bit streams that are available for the public. So, uh, example, if you own a VCU 1525 or a BCU 1525, example from Squirrel BCU 1525, you can download the bit streams for the certain algorithms that are available. Uh, yeah, so. Pretty cool. Zetheron Technology. If you guys want to get into F FPGA mining, uh, go to zetheron.com. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Next up, hard drive mining. Now, I don't know how many of you are into hard drive mining. I personally am into hard drive mining, and I got a couple hard drives mining burst right now. So this is another way that you can, you can mine cryptocurrency. Basically, uh, example, burst coin. You know, it's really energy efficient because hard drives don't take that much power. Uh, example, you can use, uh, you know, any any hard drive size from one terabyte to 10 terabytes. So, you, example, you can buy this on Amazon. Pretty expensive, $305 for one terabyte, uh, 10 terabyte. Uh, it, it's not profitable right now as by any means, but it's something that it's it's fun to get into I, I like it myself so it's just a way guys another way to mine cryptocurrency hard drive mining uh, another example of another coin that you can do for hard drive mining is storage uh, decentralized cloud storage so you just get paid for hosting files uh, it's gonna be launching in fall 2019 so it's pretty new still new so Another one is Sia Coin. Uh, you can you can become a host on the Sia Coin network, just putting your spare storage to work, and make some money in the process. So you're just you're just making, uh, you're you're getting cryptocurrency, getting paid in cryptocurrency just for hosting people's files. Uh, next coin that I believe has a lot of potential is Filecoin. Uh, earn Filecoin for hosting files. Put your unused storage work, uh, unused storage to work by becoming a Filecoin miner. Basically, same thing. Use our hard drives and all that stuff. It's it's not released yet to the public. They have a join the early miner program. Uh, you just sign up here. You can and then just give go through their survey and they will send you a uh, when they're ready the uh, alpha or beta to start using your hard drives to get on the Filecoin network. Pretty cool. Just another way for cryptocurrency mining, guys. Hard drive mining. All right, guys, next up, we got CPU mining. Now, I talked about that in the history of Bitcoin, that CPU mining was one of the first ways to mine Bitcoin. But now, in the present, we can use CPUs to mine Monero, for example, one of the most popular, I would say, CPU mineable coins. And before, <laughs> and uh, for example, CoinHive, uh, this is a website you can use just to uh, mine crypto with your CPU, basically. Just 
opening it up and pointing your address to uh, your Monero wallet. Really cool. But by the way, they have just they have uh, discontinued their service because of the hard fork that's happening on March 9th because Monero is going through a upgrade, a hard fork, uh, changing their algorithm algorithm. So take that as you will. I'm sure CPUs like this Ryzen 7 2700X will still be, uh, will can be profitable once the new algorithm takes place, once they kick off the ASICs and whatnot. So yeah, just another way to mine, guys, is through CPUs. You can have, you can use your Intel uh, CPUs as well, any CPU for that matter. The last and final way to make cryptocurrency, guys, is through masternodes. Now. There's a site here called Masternodes Online, and it shows all of the different coins that has Masternodes. Basically, Masternodes is basically staking your your coins, and basically you get a certain amount of coin back in return. So Dash, for example, if you have a thousand Dash, which by the way, a thousand Dash required to create a Masternode, it costs around $79,391 USD right now to have <laughs> a Dash Masternode in which you can get in daily income 0 0.1983 Dash a day or 1.3881 Dash a day or 5.9 Dash a month. Or in a year, it calculates to 73 Dash a month, a year. So yeah interesting you can use you can you can you can create master nodes which is really cool uh now to do that i know a lot of people use vps's which is virtual uh virtual machines basically and i found one that you can try for free uh on microsoft azure so azure you can make uh, you can get your 12 month free access to virtual machines and uh, you can you can create a master node on here. So I know a number of people have done that just to do a test. And then if you like it, you can pay for it as you go. Pay for pay as you go. They have that pay for as you go method on Azure Microsoft. So interesting, interesting way to um, get cryptocurrency through master nodes. Oh, but that's it, guys. So yeah, let me know what you think. I'm I'm sure I am missing another way that you can earn cryptocurrency. Uh, but that's, that's all that I've, I've thought of and figured out for now. But if you guys have another way that you get cryptocurrency, please let me know down below. I would love to know. And, uh, let, let me know what your favorite way to get cryptocurrency is. I'm sure all of you guys watching me right now is going to say GPU mining, but you know what? I'm sure some of you will say something else. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys. Thanks so much. I appreciate all of you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, smash that like button and all that good stuff. Have a good day guys. See ya.